What's up guys? Just got done watching the uh Diablo season one reveal live stream and I took a bunch of notes for all of those for those of you that didn't get a chance to get to the live stream. Uh just a real quick uh run through of everything that I wrote down here and picked up along the way. So the season one is going to be called the malignant uh corruption of the malignant curse of the malignant something malignant malignant what a weird word but anyway um the entire world is getting corrupted by this malignant thing now with that being said we're going to be um uh, engaging with a bunch of new enemies and more or less it's just going to be like an elite mob but they're going to be uh more or less malignant cursed enemies um once you kill them they're going to drop a cage and you interact with the cage and it spawns a whole another group of them. You kill them and then they drop these malignant hearts. So these malignant hearts are there's apparently 32 different ones that all are going to completely make all of our classes extremely overpowered. Now, they didn't really show much of what any of them do um, outside of the one <coughs> here that I got on the screen. And yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of nuts apparently there's four different types of hearts that you can get uh they're all going to be color coded all from you know in the all the all the sockets that drop on all of your gear are going to be colored sockets so you could take these gems and put them inside of any of these colored sockets on your gear so that's going to be pretty sweet um there's going to be ways to actually farm these hearts in something called a malignant tunnel which to me seems kind of like how the sellers pop up around the world so assuming they're going to be similar to the sellers i believe you need some sort of key or something to get into them but once you get in there uh there's going to be like a blob on the floor and you're going to be able to click one of the colors with whichever heart you're deciding to try and obtain so say you need like a a red one and it's and it shows on this blob a red a green and a blue so you pick the red one to get a specific red heart out of that one which will then in turn become like a gem for socketable into your gear which seems pretty cool um they've got a new boss that they're bringing in into season one they didn't give us any information whatsoever except for that there's a new boss coming there's new legendaries, new uniques, all kinds of new stuff. And the, the interesting part is, is the actual release date or the actual start date for season one is going to be on the 20th. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. It's going to be on the 20th, but the actual patch day is going to be on the 18th. So from the 18th to the 20th, so you're going to be able to experience all the new legendaries and new, new uniques and stuff up until the actual season starts. So if you... Uh, are playing on your eternal realm on the 18th 19th and 20th and to up until the season comes out you can experience and hopefully maybe find some of those new uniques or new legendaries to play around with before the season actually starts so that's pretty awesome apparently there's going to be an update that drops today at some point within the next couple of hours i might make another video on that if it's anything of substantial importance but uh keep a lookout for that there's going to be a client-based update that's going to be coming with that here in the next couple hours i'm not exactly sure when but uh with the season comes the season's journey and the battle pass so the season journey is going to be pretty much quests that are specific to the season that you can complete to in order to gain favor now favor is going to be pretty much your battle pass experience from what i've gathered uh you're going to be getting favor from kills from killing normal mobs elite mobs completing dungeons um pretty much any of those things and as well as your season journey quests that's what i was trying to say uh, as far as the battle pass goes apparently there's 27 tiers that are free they didn't tell they didn't say anything about the total amount of tiers that there will be in the battle pass but 27 of them are free um, and you can obtain smoldering ashes from the battle pass and what those smoldering ashes are is they're going to go into one of five options for blessings so with each blessing it looks like there's four levels uh, that you can dump into each blessing uh, you take these smoldering ashes and you you know put them on one of these blessings and it will increase your xp uh, the duration of your potions just any additional just a little bit of additional stuff that you know would give you more inclined reason to play seasons which is pretty cool now before the season gets here if you have not yet make sure you go and locate all the areas of fog uh the fog of war all the area unlocks all your statues of lilith do all of your renown because all of your renown will transfer over 
including your map discovery and all that stuff will all transfer over to the season now although that's super cool it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me to do that but at the same time you know it just makes things easier you get to start with your skill points and your paragon tree points and all that good stuff and potion max capacity and all that so that's good so make sure before the season hits that you do that and then they also had mentioned that once you discover all that on one character come the 18th of this month um, you will be able to log on to that first character it will absorb all of your data from all your discoveries and it will transfer them to every character on your account including your seasonals so uh, right now i believe if you start a new character um, it just shows you the waypoints or just the main city waypoints, but as of the 18th, from what they're saying, it's gonna propagate on all characters that you create. Um, as long as you log into your, you know, your most explored character first, it'll it'll absorb that data and spread it to your entire account. Uh, they did they did mention there's going to be a thing called a scroll of amnesia that's gonna be dropping late game. That's gonna allow you to more or less reset your paragon tree and your skill tree for free so that's pretty cool i don't know how rare those are uh, i would assume they're going to be fairly rare but more or less you'll be able to reset your paragon board and your skill tree for free which is definitely not the fix that we wanted but i understand why it's taken them so long to get it figured out because the way that i want paragon boards and personally i think most people probably would want something like this is uh the ability to set this paragon board so this is build number a right i want to switch to build b and i just want to click one button and switch from build a to build b back and forth right so if i want to make a fire mage i'm going to save all the paragon points and skill trees here but then i want to make a frost mage over here and i just want to be able to click the button and you know go back and forth so that's what I'm assuming their long-term goal is. So that, as well as they talked about future uh, stash implementations, adding more stash bags and this, that, and the other thing. Um, the material bags, like your gems going in the material bag, might, we might see that come with this update as well. If not, I think it's pretty close down the road. I don't know. We'll see. Um, they did add the storyline, obviously. It's a completely different storyline. So make sure you've completed the actual storyline on your eternal realm account right uh because you can't start into the new storyline which is the the malignant storyline with this new guy named uh cormand he's a priest which is crazy because i really the way that they revealed that trailer like i really thought it was gonna they were gonna announce like some sort of priest or cleric or paladin or something character as well but no luck so all we get is an npc which is cool whatever um yeah excited for a new storyline and stuff i don't know man i'm really looking forward to this i don't normally make this kind of content dude with diablo and everything else so if you watch this video up to this point man just leave me some hearts down in the down in the comments because i freaking suck at doing this kind of stuff but you know i just i took a bunch of notes and i wrote them all down and i wanted to be able to inform you know my following or any new people that might click this video of everything that i got from the stream but that's pretty much about it um yeah Looking forward to the 32 new powers that are coming. Uh, new new legendaries, new uniques. Like It's all going to be good. But uh, you guys have fun out there. And uh, 18th is patch day, 20th is season day. So we'll see you guys out there, man. Take it easy.